Welcome to Total Health Magazine on Total Health Television. I'm your host, John Barson. Today, we're going to be talking about high blood pressure. High blood pressure doesn't sound as dangerous as it really is. In 2015, over 8 million people died from hypertension or high blood pressure. In 2017, the, um, the regulations uh, stipulated that if your blood pressure was 130 over 90 um, and below, um, you were pretty much okay, but if you were higher than that, you were getting into the hypertension area, and then they would recommend, doctors would recommend some type of medication to help bring your blood pressure down. Now, I got that backwards. It was 140 over 90, sorry, 140 over 90, but the new regulations came out, and they dropped the limit to 130 over 80. So that means doctors are now recommending medication uh, which added, those new regulations, by the way, added over, if I do the, have the math right, over 30 million Americans to the high blood pressure rolls, bringing the total about 103 to 105 million adult Americans that are suffering from high blood pressure. So I'm going to talk about that today with one of my favorite, favorite, favorite interviews, uh, Dr. Cheryl Selman. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome to the program. Hi, John. Good to be with you. Hey, I just wanted to uh, thank you, actually, because the company we're going to talk about, you actually discovered and you brought to my attention. It is uh, 120 Life, and it's uh, a product we're going to talk about. But first, let's talk about the blood pressure and the regulations. Like, why did they change the regulations? They changed the regulations because they felt that the level they had it on initially, which is 140 over 90, was um, increasing the risk. In actual fact, um, there's a recent article that came out of the Life Extension organization in their magazine. They believe that it shouldn't be above 120 over 70. So even the government's levels are considered too high, according to Life Extension. And the Life Extension organization is always ahead of the curve as far as looking at what's really going to be optimal for people's health. So I think, you know, we have to look at the fact that um, 130 over 80 is, uh, I mean, that's the highest it should ever be. And really you want it even lower than that. Okay, so let's talk a bit about what the solution is then because doctors are putting people on medications. Um, in fact, today, reading my newsfeed in the morning, uh, one of the articles that came up in my newsfeed said that in a, a British study, that if you're on certain high blood pressure medications, if you take grapefruit juice, if you drink grapefruit juice, it could affect your medications and you could have a negative impact. And they're recommending that you eliminate grapefruit juice or just take very small amounts. And boy, it makes me think, you know, something that's good for you is causing the medication to do more damage. What if we could yeah. find something good for you that actually works better than medication? or works for most people instead of medication? You know, if they said that, it's because grapefruit juice um, increases the metabolism and detoxification in the liver. So you're just cycling that drug through more quickly or it's activating it more. So that's why they, you know, warn about grapefruit juice. So so we have an epidemic of high blood pressure and we, and we have an epidemic because of everything about our lifestyle and our diet these days. And we've created so many of these problems because stress, as we know, will generate all sorts of free radicals and inflammation, which damages our arteries. Then there's the high carbohydrate intake, sugar and insulin levels. High insulin levels are known to be especially damaging to the uh, inner lining of arteries. We don't get enough exercise, which is necessary to help the circulation. So. Oh, I, I can add lack of sleep, which stresses the body out. And one of the things I wrote about in my article, because it's an area that I particularly specialize in, is the impact of the oral contraceptive and hormone replacement therapy and how taking these high levels of estrogen affects the part of the brain that regulates blood pressure. So I see it all the time, especially for women who are more menopausal on some sort of hormone treatment. They always have high blood pressure because so it's it's a drug. HRT or bi even bioidentical hormones is a drug, and it will have some negative uh, impact on our health. So we have a lot of things going against us in regards to um, you know unhealthy blood pressure 
going on and, and impaired circulation in the body. Well, older Americans are taking multiple prescriptions. So like you said, you go, you take um, estrogen therapy or hormone therapy, uh, it causes high blood pressure. So then you go on high blood pressure medications, then you have side effects from that combination. So then they put you on another medication. It's it's almost like a an endless uh, end, end, endless loop that just self perpetuates side effects, symptoms, yeah. and more drugs. You're on that treadmill, and it, well, I didn't have enough space in the article, John. But if I wanted to to really shock everybody, to start looking at all the uh, side effects from the various and most commonly prescribed medications, how they all impact blood pressure and will raise blood pressure. So. We are caught in that endless loop, and once we start with any kind of medication, because any medication, any pharmaceutical medication will have numerous side effects, and we don't normally research them to find out what they are, and we can really be caught in this uh, condition of just having more and more symptoms show up when we try to medicate them, right? So then we right. have more interactions going on, which is a huge problem. So as a naturopathic doctor, for me, it just makes common sense. Let's go back to the root cause. Let's go back to more natural solutions. Let's support the body. What's the body telling us? If you are showing up with high blood pressure, it is a message, you know? It's, you know, you don't put the tape over the red flashing light on your dashboard and there's a problem with your engine. You have to listen to what the message is. So that message may be lifestyle changes. It may be dietary changes. It may be reducing toxic exposures, all of which create massive amounts of oxidative stress and inflammation, which damage your arteries. And then we look at natural solutions. And when I was introduced to the 120 Life drink, it's a beautifully tasting drink, but I was so impressed because it's easy to take and it has the key components that have had clinical studies done on these natural ingredients that have impressed the researchers to such an extent that many of those ingredients, when they're looked into, uh, are believed to be as effective as many of the blood pressure medications that are prescribed. And you know, my mother was on a blood was on blood pressure medication. I'm going to tell you, many, especially elderly, are not on just one medication for lowering blood pressure. They're on two or even three. So it is. Uh, you know, it's a struggle to get their blood pressure down because they have so many issues going on. But the side effects can be terrible. And I, I remember that my mom took one of those uh, blood pressuring drugs and all of a sudden this irritating and persistent cough was created as a side effect, which is clearly stated there as a side effect. And it was so uh, disruptive and she couldn't sleep. So think about that. You're trying to sleep and that and and lack of sleep, lack of proper sleep is one of the risk factors for high blood pressure. So you're creating a drug that's creating this persistent irritating cough that you cannot re, you know, it will not subside because it's a side effect of the drug you're taking. So you can't get rid of it, right? You're causing it. And that's the vicious cycle we're talking about. Right, and you can't sleep, <laughs> which causes your high blood pressure. So it's it's a it's just a vicious cycle that keeps you on medication. So um, let's talk about 120 Life because Ira has created a, a formula, like you said, based on ingredients that are all scientifically proven to benefit your your high blood pressure and benefit you in other ways too, because there is the entourage effect. I mean, I know like. Um, one of my favorite ingredients in there, I don't have high blood pressure. I actually have low blood pressure, so I'm, I'm the reverse. I got to get mine up. But uh, one thing I do get or used to get a lot of is, is leg cramps. And he even has magnesium in his formula. So let's talk about the formula and the ingredients. So the uh, drink is made up of the key ingredients, natural ingredients. Um, there are six of them, two, four, six of them, right? that uh, have a synergistic effect, right? So they all work together to create an even better result. So you talked about magnesium, and um, magnesium is one of those minerals that I would say the vast majority of Americans and probably Canadians and probably Mexicans and Europeans are all deficient in. And one of the, uh, uh, magnesium is essential for your health. Mag magnesium is critical for act, for act, um, 
uh, accessing and initiating all sorts of enzymatic reactions, but it also is necessary for a healthy heart. It keeps the rhythm going, it calms the body, it relaxes nerves, it relaxes muscles. So high blood pressure is the stiffening and tension going on in your circulatory system. So magnesium helps that system to relax so the blood can flow without putting pressure on the arteries. You know, when you have high blood pressure and you're putting all this constant pressure on your arteries, it can weaken the arteries and that can lead to things like aneurysm or can uh, break off a uh, plaque and lead to other blood clots going on throughout the body. So uh, you want to relax, you want to relax your, your circulatory system, that's magnesium. And then the, uh, the other natural whole food supplements, I would call them, include beetroot. Now beetroot is really popular now. Uh, you know, I make sure I have beets every day in one form or the other because beetroots are supporting the uh, uh, relaxation of the arteries as well. So it allows more circulation, more oxygen to be circulated throughout your entire circulatory system. And it also is fantastic for digestion, it enhances digestion, it helps your gallbladder. So everyone should be having beets every day in one okay, form or the other. Well, you can just I, take your juice. Yeah. I have a question for you. Um, here's how I take my beets. Tell me if this is a, a good and, and if there's even any additional benefit. I buy um, organic beets. Um, if I can't get them at the market, then I'll get them from Costco. And I take those organic beets, um, they're cooked, and I put them in a mason jar, and I fill up the mason jar with uh, organic apple cider, and I let them sit for days or longer in my refrigerator, let them ferment a little, and then I eat the beets because I just, boy, I love that combination. They're so tarty because beets are kind of bland. And uh, uh, so I do that with the apple cider vinegar. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, that's a good thing. I mean, I pickle my beets as well. I get the organic beets and I, I cook them up and I slice them up. I don't just put them in whole. I slice them up and add apple cider vinegar and some onions. And, you know, they, you don't have to even wait. I mean, you know, they're ready to go. But um, that's one way that you can certainly enjoy your beets as a condiment with your meals. The, so the beets, the beets, beet powder is included in this juice. I mean, they all start out as powders, right? And then they blend them up together and sweetened with stevia. So um, the synergy of the beetroot, which we talked about, the magnesium, and then there is pomegranate. Now, pomegranate is really popular as well. You see it everywhere on uh, on shelves of juices you know pomegranate has a long long history as a um, healthy um, beverage healthy fruit we're in pomegranate season now it's really great to get some pomegranates and eat them but one of the benefits of pomegranate fruit is that again it is a powerful antioxidant it's anti-inflammatory and it helps to create a healthy circulatory system so Pomegranates are one of the ingredients in 120 Life. Then there's cranberry. We're in cranberry season now. And cranberries also are powerful, healthy berry. They have all those, you know, that all these, all these ingredients are red, right? They're red. Think about it. Red, blood, circulatory system. The signature of plants tells us when something is red, it is good for anything that is red in the body. We're talking about our blood and the whole circulatory process. So um, the cranberries are very powerful in their ability to reduce inflammation, reduce oxi oxi oxidative stress, and oxygenate the circulatory system. So we have cranberries. Then we have tart cherries, also known as Marenzi cherries. I can get dried tart cherries from Whole Foods, you know, and they're really yummy to eat. But what you want is to have them as part of the drink because the uh, tart cherries again look at the color it's red and um, it has been widely studied and researched as a profound natural food that has demonstrated its ability to lower blood pressure and then the last one is a hibiscus flower we don't really think about hibiscus but hibiscus has been used throughout the world especially Africa and Asia is a healing medicine in those cultures, they've used them for hundreds, probably longer than that, you know, uh, throughout time, they understand the power of hibiscus. Again, generally comes as a red flower, interestingly, right? 
interestingly. And um, hibiscus also can uh, reduce inflammation, improve and enhance circulation. So it's the synergy. You get the beetroot, the hibiscus, the tart cherry, the pomegranate, the cranberry, and magnesium sweetened with stevia, also shown to uh, a lower blood pressure because stevia is one of those healthy sweeteners that will not spike your blood, uh, blood sugar level. And um, you have this beautiful um, drink that if you take on a daily basis and you're supporting the body with these powerful healing natural uh, plants, foods, berries, um, it actually will support reduction of blood pressure. And I have to say that people who've been using Iris product, the 120 Life, have had tremendous results. And, had, um, and taking this drink has enabled people to either lower their blood pressure naturally or get off their medications and um, stay with the juice instead. Oh, you know, and, and I want to say, we can talk about the best solutions in the world, but if people are not also making those changes in their diet and lifestyle, um, you can only go so far in well, restoring. Right, and I've been talking to Iron. He's told me that he's seeing 30, 40, 50 points. He had one person that actually reduced their blood pressure by 90 points, but he also uh, cautions people, don't just uh, try his product and go off your medication. It's something you need to monitor with your doctor so that as uh, your blood pressure or your blood pressure, as your um, high blood pressure starts to come down, um, you can slowly wean yourself off of your medications or reduce the medications and then wean yourself off. But he also says, look, here, here's what I make my product with. He, these are all the ingredients and consumers can make their own. He's like, here it is. Here's kind of the formula. So, but what, what he's done is he's conveniently, uh, it's a lot of work to, to do this every day and create all this and make all this, but uh, he's just put it all together in a, in a convenient package. And anything, as far as I'm concerned, anything that helps people reduce their medications or get off of medications is a good thing. So nature really does have all the answers for us. And if we're willing to listen, if we're willing to um, uh, open ourselves up to exploring the natural solutions that are safe, that have no side effects, that have been demonstrated, and there are universities doing studies on all of these foods to, to show how beneficial they are. And if you are willing to understand that your high blood pressure is a message from your body telling you wake up, you are doing something in your life that is compromising your health. And um, unless you are willing to reevaluate and make some of those changes, uh, in the long run, nothing is going to save you from the destiny that you're heading towards, you know, the brick wall you're heading towards, really. So I hope people will pay attention to their high blood pressure, drink more water, um, you know, eat organic whole foods, stay away from the carbs, from the sugars, from excessive alcohol, get exercise in on a regular basis, meditate, do relaxation exercises, yoga to calm your system down, to re reduce the uh, cortisol levels from stress, improve your sleep, and you'll re be um, optimizing your health, restoring your health, and rejuvenating your body. So that's the key. Well, on that note, <laughs> that was a great wrap up of this interview. So thank you for that, Cheryl. I uh, couldn't agree with you more. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with us today. It's always a pleasure, John. Thanks for having me. You bet. Cheryl's latest book is The Hemp Health Revolution. If you really want to investigate what you can be doing for your health and the environment and learn about the history of hemp, I recommend her book, The Hemp Health Revolution. And she also has a lot of information in there on how to pick a really high quality CBD product. Uh, which is now legally available in, in every state. So the Hemp Health Revolution, I can't recommend that enough. So Dr. Cheryl Selman has been our guest today. The topic is high blood pressure. We do recommend 120 Life. And Ira has assured us that anybody that tries this product and finds that it doesn't work for them because no product works for everybody, then he will give you a 100% refund. So check it out, 120 Life. That's it for today's program. I'm John Barson. Stay healthy.